Hello brothers and sisters. So um, this is going to be my first video that I'll upload with this new camera that I have and i um, pretty excited. So today I just got this um, next book thing. Pretty much a computer, you know, just a tablet, but um, I can hook up the wireless keyboard and mouse to it or pretty much anything, you know, it runs on Windows 7 or Windows 8.1. But anyways, um, I can work on my website way easier now so that's probably what I'm going to be focusing on a lot at least the next few days um, I'll probably be like drinking coffee up at night on the computer working on the website so the website is acceptyoubeconverted.com I don't know if you can see that too well there but uh, so uh, I love computers it's been a while since I've had one and uh, and this beats using the phone definitely being able to use the keyboard again and everything so I'm loving it and uh, so I got to I'm gonna have to download programs to make video to edit videos and um, you know I'm trying to find some software where I can record the screen and record you know like a webcam at the same time um, so you know using this camera is new to me using a lapel mics new to me um, so that's an, an extra, definitely bonus to this ministry. So uh, thanks for the support. And uh, there's just a lot of things that I've been studying lately. Uh, there's a video with Brian Denlinger that I uh, made about him where I talked about how in John, the book of John, Jesus told Nicodemus that he must be born again. And I thought that implied that Old Testament saints were regenerated. And I still hold to that, but I don't think that I studied that as much as I should have. I was looking into it, and I, but now I've looked into it a lot more. And I'm not sure exactly what I'm, what else I might have said in that video, but I may have said that they were regenerated, but they weren't indwelt by the Holy Spirit, and that it, that it just came on them and left, and it was different then. But now I'm starting to be persuaded that they were regenerated and indwelt by the Holy Spirit, because I think that they go hand in hand. And... There's just, uh, there's a lot of scriptural reasons and everything why I'm not going to point out everything in the video right now, but that's something that I'm working on, and I'll probably make an article on my website first about that to get all the scriptures out and everything, and then I'll maybe make a video. And eventually I plan on making a new channel because I can only upload 15 minute long videos onto this channel. Um, I'll probably make another channel that will go more with the website, and I'll just put like the really polished teachings that are longer on there and I'll still use this channel a lot though just upload videos little teachings here and there or whatever um, I have a lot of plans lots of ideas so but I just uh, want to you know I gotta get used to using this computer and the programs and everything and the camera and all that and uh, I still need to study scripture a lot um, for things that I want to teach uh, so your brother asked me if I thought that Satan has access to heaven still, and I don't think that he does. And that kind of ties in with the sons of God, uh, you know, were they angels or were they men? And I don't believe that they were fallen angels. Uh, I believe that they were men. And so, anyways, in the book of Job, you know, talks about they, they come to present themselves before God and and Satan comes with them and you know I think that just takes place on the earth that doesn't take, have to take place in heaven there's plenty of other scriptures where um, the saints present themselves before God they use it uses pretty much the exact same words and they're not in heaven and I've heard Brian Denlinger recently make a video where he just he says that they are angels and you know that's just the way that it is it doesn't give any scriptures or anything and I'm not really giving scriptures right now either but I will uh, totally debunk that um, but, I mean, he's asking because Revelation 12, it says, you know, that there was, you know, Satan was cast out of heaven or whatever, and then it says there was, like, another war, and he was, like, cast out of heaven again. It's like, did this already happen? And so I've, I've seen a lot of interpretations that that's, like, not talking about the third heaven, um, but it's the second heaven, which is kind of confusing, doesn't make sense, but I need to look into that a little bit more. But that's something else that I'm working on. So I want to work on, you know, a lot of things that I have on my website that I started that I haven't finished, like an article on, you know, a lot of the main doctrines about Jesus Christ. Uh, you know, I've got that probably halfway finished. I want to finish that, hopefully in the next few days, um, you know, finish up the Trinity or whatever. 
and whatever else I have on there. But I want to work on these articles of were the Old Testament saints regenerated and indwelt. And I've, I've read a lot of that lines up with covenant theology too, which is like a reformed theology like Calvinism, and I'm totally against that, and that's something else that I want to work on studying, refuting Calvinism. But um, I don't think that, you know, you know, you don't have to be Calvinist or anything to believe that the Old Testament saints were indwelt were regenerated and indwelled. I think that's what the teacher, the scriptures teach. I don't believe that regeneration comes before faith. Of course, there is, you know, a call of God. There is some kind of a work of the Spirit for a person to be able to, you know, choose to have faith. But I don't believe that regeneration comes before faith. It comes after faith and repentance, which are, you know, two of the sides of the same coin. But, um, so... There's a lot to say about that. And I want to talk about the sons of God and whether Satan has access to heaven or not. Um, you know, and I want to refute a lot of false teachings, do more Brian Denlinger videos. And, and because I may have implied that Old Testament saints were only, you know, temporarily indwelt or something in some of my past videos, as I make like new ref refutes on Brian Denling are better now that I have this you know computer and camera and all this stuff uh, I will probably delete some of those older ones because I may have taught some things wrong but you know it's always a learning process I'm you know not perfect never gonna be perfect but you know in this life until I'm glorified I guess but uh, you know anyway It's just, you know, and, and that's the whole we're Old Testament saints and dwelt and regenerated and indwelt. Um, it ties into a lot of doc a lot of other doctrines. And uh, so that's why I really want to get this right. It's really foundational, I think. And uh, people will say, well, what happened at Pentecost then? You know, Jesus talks about giving the spirit and stuff like if that wasn't when they were first indwelled, if they were already indwelled, then what was so special at Pentecost? And that's something that I need to study more and get into, but you know, there's a lot of things. I don't believe that the Old Testament saints were part of the body of Christ. You know, that was new. The baptism of the Holy Spirit was certainly new. There was new revelations that they had. They know about Jesus Christ. Um, you know, they knew a lot about a lot more things. So, so that's something that I need to get into too, but so I just encourage you to check this website every day or something if you want to, except you be and uh, I'll just be I'll be working on that and I'll make throw out some videos, hopefully. But I just gotta kind of learn everything, figure everything out, find out what I'm gonna do, and I gotta clean up my room definitely. It just looks like a mess in here, so I gotta get all this figured out. But I'm really thankful, really excited. Hope that you guys have all had a good month this month and. Uh, I'm ready for this new year and uh, ready to see what the Lord will do. So, just thanks for watching. Keep, hope you keep watching and pray for me. And if you have any suggestions or anything, contact me. My contact info is on the website and stuff. So, um, you know, at some time I might do some live videos or something. I don't know. I'm open to all kinds of ideas. I want to get another webcam so I can zoom in on the, my Bible and other books that I'll go over and stuff that I have. Uh, so just all kinds of things that I want to do. But I just got to get into that mode, figure all this stuff out. So uh, thanks for watching. God bless. Except ye be converted and become as little children, ye shall not enter into the kingdom of heaven.